this lecture i am going to present how to determine the static indeterminacy of a rigid jointed plane frame in the presence of internal hinge first coming to what is static indeterminacy the number of equations of equilibrium all shorter than the number of unknown direction components is known as the degree of static indeterminacy or degree of redundancy or the number of additional equations necessary for the solution of the problem is known as degree of static indeterminacy or the degree of redundancy then coming to how to determine the degree of static indeterminacy of rigid jointed plane frame as you know in the case of rigid jointed plane frame every members of a rigid jointed plane frame carries three unknown internal forces for example axial force shear force and bending moment so the total number of unknown forces is equal to 3m plus r where 3m the internal member forces and r is the number of external direction components so the total number of unknown forces is equal to 3m plus r the condition of static equilibrium provides three equations at each of j joints giving a total of three j independent equations giving the total number of independent equations equal to 3 into j then the degree of static indeterminacy of a rigid jointed plane frame can be determined using this equation so ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j 3m plus r is the total number of unknown forces and 3j is equal to the total number of independent equations so the total number of unknown forces minus the total number of independent equations is equal to the degree of static indeterminacy of rigid jointed plane frame then coming to the frames with internal hinge so this is the member so here this is the hinge present in the member or this is the frame in the horizontal member here internal hinge is present so if the internal hinge is present so what is the influence of the internal hinge on the degree of static indeterminacy so here we have to discuss a hinge gives one condition equation when it is placed at any intermediate point of a beam or frame at any intermediate point of a beam or frame if the hinge is present so it gives one equation so the degree of static indeterminacy can be determined ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j plus c where m is the number of members r is the number of reaction components j is the number of joints and see the number of condition equations available due to internal hinge if the member present one internal hinge one condition equation will provide the internal hinge so c is equal to 1 if the internal hinge is present uh, at any intermediate point of a beam or frame if the internal hinge is present at the joint then what is the influence on the degree of static indeterminacy then how you have to find out the degree of static indeterminacy of a rigid jointed plane frame look at this figure so here the internal hinge is present at the f this is the internal hinge so at f there are four members meet bf ef jf and gf if the hinge is placed at f as shown in figure the moment at f of all the four members bf ef jf and gf will be zero but as the summation of moment at f will be automatically zero so we get three additional condition equations so in this case we get three additional condition equations in general the net number of condition equation at a joint is one less than the number of members meeting at that joint at joint f there are four members meet 
here the number of condition equations available that is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 because at any joint so how many members meet the number of conditions equations available that is one less than the number of members meeting at that joint in this case the c is equal to 3 then coming to the some example that how to determine the degree of static indeterminacy of the frame with internal hinge coming to the first example determine the degree of static indeterminacy of the frame so here this is the frame and here the internal hinge is present at f so you have to find out the degree of static indeterminacy so using this expression ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j plus c where m is equal to number of members r is the number of reaction components j is the number of joints and see the number of condition equation available due to internal hinge. These are the supports. So at each support and in the case of rigid jointed plane frame, there are three reaction components. Here there are four fixed supports. The total number of reaction components are equal to 4 into 3 that is equal to 12. Then count the number of members 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. The number of members are equal to 21. Then count the number of joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The number of joints are equal to 16. Then the number of condition equations available due to internal hinge that is equal to because here there are 4 members meeting at the joint F. So the number of condition equation available is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So C is equal to 3. Then after getting the value M, R, J, C, then you can find out what is the degree of static indeterminacy. So DS is equal to 3M plus R minus 3J plus C. So DS is equal to 3 into 21 plus 12 minus 3 into 16 plus 3. That is equal to 75 minus 51 is equal to 24. This is the degree of static indeterminacy of rigid jointed plane frame with internal hinge at F. Then coming to the second example, determine the degree of static indeterminacy of the frame. So this is the frame, here this support is hinge support, this is fixed support and this is also fixed support. And there one internal hinge is present here. So find out the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame. So this is the equation. By using this equation, you can find out the degree of static indeterminacy. ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j plus c, where m is equal to number of members, r is the number of reaction components, j is the number of joints, and c is the number of condition equation available due to internal hinge. First count the number of members. 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of members are equal to 4. Then count the number of reaction components. Here there are three reaction components. Here there are three reaction components. Here there are two reaction components. Because this is hinge support. So 3 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 8. Number of reaction components are equal to 8. Then count the number of joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of joints are equal to 5. And the number of condition equations available due to internal hinge. At this joint, there are three members meet. So here, C is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then after getting the value of M, R, J, C, then you can find out the degree of static in the term. DS is equal to 3M plus R minus 3J plus C. 3 into M4 plus R8 minus 3 into J5 plus C2. So that is equal to 20 minus 17 is equal to 3. So this is the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame. Then coming to the third example. So this is the frame. So here this support is fixed support. This is also fixed support and this is the hinge support. In this member one internal hinge. In this member one internal hinge. And in this member one internal hinge. Three internal hinge is present. in three members. Here, uh, this is the internal hinge and two members. This is the 
member and the, this is the internal hinge so here gives one equation and this is the member and this is the internal hinge. here gives one equation this is the member and this is the internal hinge so here gives one equation so number of condition equation evaluate in this case is equal to 3 you got three internal hinge two members meeting at each internal hinge two members meeting at each internal hinge or the number of condition equation at each internal hinge is equal to 1 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1 so here one equation here one equation here one equation that no total number of condition equation available that is equal to 3 then you have to count the number of members so here this is one member this is second member this is third member and this is fourth members number of members are equal to 4 and number of reaction components so 3 here 3 here 2 8 components 8 8 number of reaction components then number of joints 1 2 3 4 5 the number of joints are equal to 5 and number of condition equation available due to internal hinge that is equal to 3 then the degree of static in determinants you can find out using this expression 3m plus r minus 3j plus c 3 into 4 plus 8 minus 3 into 5 plus 3 is equal to 20 minus 18 that is equal to 2. So the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 2. Then coming to the fourth example, determine the degree of static indeterminacy of the frame. So this is one frame and here G and H, these two support are fixed support. Uh, at joint B there is one internal hinge and at joint E there is a second internal hinge. So here you see at E there are three members meet. The condition of equation available is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So here the condition of equation available that is equal to 2. And at B there are two members meet. So the condition of equations available here is equal to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. So here one condition of equation available and here are two con condition of equations available. So the total number of condition equation available is equal to 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. And uh, count the number of members. Number of members are equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Number of members are equal to 9. Then count the number of joints. Number of joints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of joints are equal to 8. Then count the number of reaction components. So at the G there are three reaction components, at H there are three reaction components. So the total number of reaction components are equal to 6. Then after knowing the M, R, J and C, then you can find out the degree of static indeterminacy. So DS is equal to 3 into mine plus 6 minus 3 into 8 plus 3 that is equal to 33 minus 27 is equal to 6. So the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 6. Then coming to the fifth example, determine the degree of static in the of the frame. Here this is the frame and this G and H, these two supports are fixed. Here the first internal hinge is present in the member C, and second internal hinge is present in the member EF, and the third internal hinge is present in the member EG. Three internal hinge in horizontal and vertical members, so the number of condition equations available is equal to three. Here the number of condition equation is equal to 1 and for this internal hinge the number of condition equation is equal to 1 and for this internal hinge the number of condition equation is equal to 1. So the total number of condition equation available is equal to 3. Then you can find out the degree of static indeterminacy using this formula ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j plus c. Here you have to count the number of members that is equal to 9 and number of reaction components is equal to 6, number of joints equal to 8 and C is equal to 3. Then you can find out DS is equal to 3 into 9 plus 6 minus 3 into 8 plus 3 that is equal to 33 minus 27 is equal to 6. This is the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame. Then coming to the sixth example, determine the degree of static indeterminacy of the frame. So here this is uh, the frame and here G, H, I, these three supports are fixed support and at each fixed support there are three reaction components. So 
So the total number of reaction components are equal to 9. R is equal to 9. And here the internal H is present at D. At D there are four members meet D, DB, DF and DH. So the number of condition of equations available here is equal to C is equal to 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. So C is equal to 3. Then count the number of members. The number of members here is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The number of members are equal to 10. Then count the number of joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Number of joints are equal to 9. And number of condition equations available due to internal hinge is equal to 3. Then after knowing M, R, J, C, then you can find out what is the degree of static indeterminacy. So D, S is equal to 3 into 10 plus 9 minus 3 into 9 plus 3 is equal to 39 minus 30 is equal to 9. So this is the degree of static indeterminacy of this frame when the internal hinge is present at D. Now all are clear how to determine the degree of static indeterminacy of rigid jointed plane frame in the presence of internal hinge.